Welcome to Text Aloud. Today's video will show you how to control or fine tune the lengths of your pauses within your spoken audio in Text Aloud. First, let's look at how to manually insert a pause within a Text Aloud article. Using your mouse or keyboard, place the cursor where you want the pause to occur. Right click, then choose Pause, then Prompt for Pause tag then enter the number of seconds you desire for the length of your pause. Once you click OK, you'll see the syntax for the pause inserted in your article text, as seen here. Let's look first at how to manually insert a pause within a text aloud article. You can also easily adjust the global settings for the amount of time text aloud will pause after a sentence, paragraph, or even between every word. Click Tools, then Text Processing, Pauses and Text Insertions. Leave the first drop-down menu at the default setting for All Profiles. Leave the second at Insert Pause. Next, click on the preloaded setting you want to edit so that it's highlighted. Then click Edit, and the Edit Automatic Text Insertion dialog box will pop up. To insert or extend pauses between sentences for a new universal setting, for example, click the Insert At drop-down menu, then choose the setting for which you would like to change the universal pause duration. Choices include between paragraphs, between sentences, between words, and more. Here, choose between sentences. Then type in the value for the number of seconds you'd like to set the pause to in these situations and click OK. You can also follow this series of steps to redefine the pauses between words, between paragraphs, defined as either one or two lines, and much more. Or let's say you'd like to add a setting for the pause between words. To do that, click Add, then change the drop-down for Insert At to between words. Assign a desired pause length, then click OK. There's also a great little trick you can use to, for example, change the length of time text aloud will pause every time it encounters a comma. When you manually insert a pause through the right-click option, as previously described, you'll see that Text Aloud inserts the syntax for a pause of specified length, like two seconds, here depicted with the characters left brace, left brace, pause, equal sign, two, right brace, right brace, or the symbol pause equals two, within braces. However, if you want to make the pause for a comma a universally longer one every time, you can accomplish this by making a pronunciation edit via Tools, Text Processing, Pronunciation Dictionary Maintenance. Define the comma as the new dictionary entry, then under Text Matching, type a comma. Then under Pronouns Using, leave at Respell, and enter the syntax string as seen here for the pause insertion desired. Then click OK. This has been a look at how to control or fine tune your pauses in Text Aloud. For more information on using or purchasing Text Aloud, be sure to check out our other videos. Meanwhile, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, or visit the nextup.com website for even more information and support. Thank you for choosing Text Aloud for your text-to-speech needs, and as always, thanks for listening.